Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Today's video is gonna be an educational video. So I hope you're ready to learn about the snouted cobra. Now, before we begin, I'm a professional. Don't attempt anything you see on my channel ever. And if you're new here, I post videos on venomous snakes. So if that's something you enjoy, please consider subscribing. Now, how I do these videos, I'm gonna start with taxonomy, then geographic range, some description of them, some of their behaviors, the habitat they're found in, reproduction, venom, diet. But let's get to it. Taxonomy. Now that's classifying, labeling, grouping organisms. Now, true cobras are in the genus Naja, and the snouted cobra is Naja anilifera. So the species is anilifera. Now with this, they were once considered a subspecies of the Egyptian cobra, Naja Hajj. So was the Antiatus cobra, but they were separated. The Antiatus cobra was then considered a subspecies of the snouted cobra, but now it's been separated into another species as well. So, Naja anilifera, the snouted cobra. Another common name is banded Egyptian cobra, which is weird when we go talk about geographic range because they're not found in Egypt. It must be because they were considered a subspecies originally of the Egyptian cobra. Now this species is found in Southern Africa, Sub-Saharan Africa, and they're found in Botswana, Zimbabwe, Mozambique, Malawi, South Africa, and Swaziland. I probably pronounced some of those wrong. That's something I do a lot here, pronounce things wrong. As you can see, this snouted cobra has beautiful banding beautiful goldish yellowish black bands now the bands can be even purplish just very beautiful but they also can be very bland looking and i'm going to show you another snouted cobra that doesn't have these bandings so check out this snouted cobra no bands almost blackish purplish it's hard to see in here but it's sort of purple very beautiful. Look at the belly, yellowish, golden. So this variability of their pattern and color throughout their range. The banding ones are my favorite. Now this black coloration on the bottom of the hood is more pronounced in the babies, as you can see here. When this one was a little baby, you can see it's a lot darker more prominent and this is a large species of cobra average is about four to six feet long they can get up to eight feet long massive awesome snakes look at that cute face and the common name let's see if you can see the semi upturned snout so that's where they get the common name snouted cobra Cute. Now let's talk about some of the snouted cobra behavior. Like any species of cobra, when they feel threatened, they'll hood up, they'll hiss, they'll strike if they feel they need to. But like any snake, they prefer to flee if given the chance. the snouted cobra does something else as well. They also can play dead to avoid predation. Isn't that just so cool? Unlike the hognose snake that's very dramatic about it, these aren't like that. They kind of just lay there. But it's just such an amazing thing that some snake species do, and these are one of them. And this species is nocturnal. So they'll come out and hunt actively at night. 
But that being said, they love to bask outside of their home base during the day in the direct sunlight. And what do I mean by home base? Now we'll discuss it in the habitat as well, but they, they will take up residence in areas such as abandoned termite mounds and they'll stay there permanently. Permanent home base, they'll return to that same one for life. That's just so amazing, isn't it? But yeah, during the day, they'll come out and just bask in the sun directly, even though they're nocturnal. The habitat they can be found in. They can be found in arid and moist savanna and even woodland areas. And like I mentioned, they'll take up permanent bases. So for example, in abandoned termite mounds, as I mentioned earlier, that's just so fascinating. And the reproduction, like all true cobras and Naja, they are oviparous, egg layers. They can lay anywhere between five to even up to 35 eggs. And they do this during the early summer. The venom of the snouted cobra. They contain complex mixture of neurotoxins, postsynaptic neurotoxins. And neurotoxins are fast acting and it's required for the prey that they are targeting. Now the prey they eat, they eat a wide variety of prey. Things such as toads, frogs, lizards, mammals, and even other snakes. So they're opportunistic, feeding on a wide variety of different animals. Amazing. And I might as well throw in their predators which are birds of prey, other snakes, and some other species. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video on the beautiful and amazing snouted cobra. They are just so cool. Anyways, I'll be back soon with another video. Love you all, and if you're new here, subscribe. Be back soon. Take care.